Well, welcome to the last Sunday of January at Jesus Saves Bible Church. And we had a really good meeting last Sunday and met with the joint meeting of the uh, members of Saddle Mountain for the first part of our annual general meeting and the, the leadership team of Jesus Salva, and we did change our name, and we did admit all their elders and deacons and deaconesses as members of our congregation. So we more than tripled in size in one in one event. This ne the next time we meet will be the twenty first first of um, February when we complete that process and receive the remaining members of their congregation and uh, affirm and appoint everyone to new, their positions in the joint uh, congregation that settled at uh, Jesus Saves Bible Church. So it's an exciting time as we see things coming together and life is looking up here. Okay. So this week we set... Uh, Men's prayer is moved to Saturday morning at 7 a.m. If you're not a 5.30 person, this might be a little more compatible to you to get up at 7 and come join us. So there's the option if you'd like to come. Um, we, had, we met this last Sunday or last Saturday morning with Samuel and began work on the obtaining the domain name for um, Jesus Saves Bible Church. So we do actually have that. So now it's a matter of Building a new website. So, you can be at prayer. Ryan will come forward and lead us in prayer, but you can be at prayer for us to decide what we will do next for Bible study, whether we're continuing in Ephesians, um, because uh, um, the, the, old, the study we were having will not be continuing as it was. I think there's, uh, trying to think of other prayer requests as Brian get, comes up to the front. I think there's one really important one this morning. Uh, it's Brian's birthday. <laughs> so, we uh, wish you the best of birthdays, Brian, and uh, pray for your future of Sunrise Orchards, any issues that are currently ongoing there, um, that you, God would give you a great birthday. And we give praise and thanks to God for you, for your leadership, your commitment to providing the tech ministry you have and uh, other issues in helping us to merge together with Jesus Salva. Just really appreciate you, Brian. Thank you very much. And um, I've had, you know, a lot of nice, uh, you know, birthday wishes, wishes so far. And, uh, and my mom passed away yesterday. And so that was, uh, you know, uh, it's always a, a bittersweet because she was, you know, suffering and barely able to, uh, um, oops, uh, you know, barely able to communicate at all, you know, at, at the end. And uh, my sister and my brother Jim were there with her when she passed and yesterday morning. And uh, and, and uh, I was here at prayer. And, I mean, that's a really good spot to get news like that when you're, when you're praying. You know, when you got to pray with uh, Jim and Samuel here and then head off to Wenatchee and be with my family and... And start uh, organizing things, and uh, it started off. Like, my sister, with my brother Dave, they were saying, "Well, you know, let's just have a little get together, you know, at, at Dawn's house, and you know, we don't we don't want to worry about this, uh, you know, COVID thing, and all of Mom's friends are, you know, in their late eighties and nineties, and 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 uh, you know, it's going to be." 
you know, tough to get those guys together. And then I thought, well, what if we delayed this for you know, about six weeks, eight weeks or so? And so we called a couple of their friends and they said, well, yeah, we got our first shot. We'll be fully immunized by the time that comes around. And we'd love to get together. In fact, everybody is craving to get together at this point. So, um, you know, as this is going, so now all of a sudden we're thinking that uh, Nice should be, could be flying up from uh, Texas and uh, we're going to have a full-blown family get-together out of this with all the, uh, you know, hopefully all the 50s and ups, uh, you know, fully immunized. So... Uh, we'll just uh, keep trotting along and praying that we make good, good decisions um, on all this, and and uh, we can you know respect my my mom's wishes that she certainly did not want to be you know passing in a time where you couldn't get together. Her whole life was about getting our family together, and we have you know event after event after event and it, we'd have a you know very strong nuclear family and we're just you know so thankful for that so and uh i <clears throat> it's also um have enjoyed uh had this new facility because the methodist church won't hold a funeral right now and i said well just we'll hold it in Mattawa. And uh, says, that won't be a problem. And then we find out that the Calvary Chapel Church in Wenatchee will, will let us host a, a service and, you know, have lunch and the whole nine yards. So, as, you know, so keep, we'll keep uh, plodding along and seeing, you know, how this works. And, and, and just pray for... You know, everybody's able to get their vaccinations and beforehand, and and uh, and uh, we can have a safe gathering again. We can get this little COVID monster behind us. All right. Any other uh, any other prayer requests? As, as Jim was saying, you know, we'll just continue to pray for prayer for um, pray for unity. Um, there is, uh, as we expected, lots of differences and issues in how we uh, do things. We are very similar in the way we have our organization governance, but the details are always um, um, different. You're never quite sure what's going to be an issue until it comes up. And you know, we found one of those, you know, on Saturday, and we're able to work through it. And I think everybody still has the idea that we're going to, you know, do this together and 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 deal with these issues one, you know, one at a time as we as they come up. So that's been um, uh, continue to be a blessing and continue to be be good. Let's, uh, let's bow our hearts in prayer. Lord, we just you know, we just thank you for this day. Thank you for the blessings. Um, and Lord, we just uh, uh, just thank you uh, so much that you know my mom knew you and uh, and uh, raised us you know kids in a in a Christian house and and uh, so that we each got to got to know you personally over the years and lord as she's gone to be with you um yesterday lord we just you know just thank you and praise you and, and just um just lift her up to you and lord uh and the firm first and foremost thing on all my uh, siblings mind is you know all the uh our nieces and nephews that have fallen away that, that don't acknowledge you as their Lord and Savior, Lord. And, uh, Lord, we just, uh, we just pray that um, it would be um, 
my mom, Joan's wish that they would all know you. And Lord, that we would uh, be a good witness for them, that they would, uh, it would stir in their hearts, that they would realize that something is wrong with the way they're living their life. And that um, this world just chews people up and spits them out. And we need that solid rock to, to cling on to, to um, survive here. And Lord, it's not just survive, Lord. We, we thrive. We thrive with you, Lord. And it is a life of abundance and fulfillment and, and uh, everything good you can think of. And Lord, so um, as we're, we're planning this service, Lord, I, I plan to, I just pray that uh, we would be able to uh, take, uh, take the steps to keep people safe. Lord, that uh, people would be able to uh, to get the, the vaccinations and the vaccine would be safe for them. Lord, we just uh, uh, thank you for all the people that have gotten through so far without, too many, you know, without uh, complications. Um, and Lord, that uh, you would just give us wisdom on, on how, to, how to deal with this in a, in a way that, that honors you and honors um, our families and, and that, so that we can, we can fellowship uh, together. So we can come together and, and worship you in, in church and we can uh, mourn with each other for the loss and family members and we can celebrate you uh, celebrate you during weddings and all those times that we haven't been able to to get together as normal and lord how um how there's this empty hole in our lives because of it over the last year lord we just really are longing to be able to do that again and lord we uh, just uh, lift up um, the message today, Lord, that each one of us could uh, just be filled up and ready to overflow to those around us this week, Lord, and to each of us that, um, to each of the uh, people that we come in contact with, Lord, um, that we would be a good witness um, uh, for you. And that uh, uh, just thank you for um, for Albert and his um, excellent example of that you never really there's no such thing as retirement you're always uh, you're always uh, on the job for God and Lord you uh, he, uh, he uh, meets people all the time and is able to share the gospel with them Lord and we just uh, uh, just thank you for that example and Lord uh, it has encouraged me many times to share the gospel with with people um, that I meet that uh, I wouldn't have you know, uh, in the past. So we thank you for these other believers, and Lord, that we just uh, pray that we would be able to lift each other as the lift each other up as the body of Christ. And these things lift up in Jesus' name. Amen. Our call to worship this morning is from Psalm thirty-four, verses one to eight. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be continually in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Look to the Lord and look to him and be radiant. Let your faces never be ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in the Lord. Our first song then will be to bless the Lord, O my soul, 10,000 Reasons uh, by Matt Redman. Um, we'll stand and we'll sing together. The verse out of the, the opening call to worship is, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth.
Our second song is, O my soul, arise, bless your maker. And I chose John, 1 John 3, verses 1 to 3, to get the reasons to praise and bless our maker. See what kind of love the Father has given to us, that we should be called the children of God. And so we are. The reason why the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now, and what we are will and what we will be has not yet appeared. But we know that when he appears, we shall be like him, because we shall see him as he is. And everyone who thus hopes in him purifies himself as he is pure. So let's sing together. Oh my soul, arise, bless your maker. Our third song is Take My Life and Let It Be. Um, and the medication's uh, verse to go with it is Psalm 1914. Let the words of my, my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Let's sing from the heart, Take my life and let it be. Our final song this morning is to live is Christ. It's a hill song story, a song, and so let's sing that together. Our benediction this morning is from 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 16. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way. The Lord be with you all. Amen.